Wheat School on RealArtCulture.com is brought to you by Syngenta Canada, Alberta Wheat Commission, and CNM Seeds. Today we have Lisa Nemeth, Technical Specialist for Winter Wheat here at the Canadian International Grains Institute in Winnipeg, also known as SIGI. And Lisa, you were in Banff at, uh, at the Prairie Grain Development Committee meetings uh, where varieties are, are recommended for, uh, for registration. And this year, an exciting year, lots of, uh, lots of new wheat varieties put forward? Yeah, this year um, it was, uh, I guess, the largest number of varieties registered, 28 varieties uh, of wheat. Uh, nine in the CWR cl CWRS class itself, so um, a good possibility of some new varieties going forward. And you were there as Siggy, you're the people who are connected to the customers around the world, so you're kind of bringing uh, what they're looking for in, in terms of new wheat from Canada? Yes, certainly. Um, Siggy has uh, a huge interaction with customers around the world, which allows us to um, bring those opinions forward on the committee. Um, we have five uh, members from SIGI on the quality evaluation team at the PGDC and those five members are all from different areas. Myself um, right now as a specialist in winter wheat, we have somebody from our baking area, somebody from our Asian end product area and somebody from um, our milling area and also um, somebody who uh, has really good experience from the analytical side. So we're able to um, talk to customers about all their needs in those areas and bring those views on quality requirements uh, for wheat to the committee uh, and those opinions are very valuable for varieties being recommended. So do the varieties that, uh, that were recommended put forth this year, do they match what or do they reflect what customers are, are looking for? Well, I think uh, this year, certainly for CWRS, there was uh, a really good attention given to strength in CWRS, particularly uh, gluten strength. Um, also, um, new uh, methodology, or um, I should say, uh, methodology uh, brought back into the quality evaluation, which is the extensograph, um, being used to have another parameter to evaluate gluten strength. And that certainly is going to allow the varieties um, to be evaluated as best possible for this characteristic and ensure that moving forward all the varieties are meeting the strength requirements for customers. There are, of course, uh, underlying changes happening or work underway to, to change the, the registration process itself. Did you see that reflected in, uh, in what, would, what, was it, what happened in Bound a couple weeks ago? Well, in the, in the last couple of years, there's been a, an effort to try and uh, uh, facilitate an easier um, registration process or recommendation process. And um, I think on the winter wheat side this year, we certainly saw some uh, indication that of these uh, modifications working. Um, the winter wheat uh, trials this year were um, destroyed or um, I guess just damaged by degrading factors and there was actually no winter wheat trials um, this year, so um, one of the, the breeders, uh, Rob Graff, um, used the new flexibility in the system to bring um, some data from previous years for the teams to look at for recommendation. And he had uh, one line recommended to move forward based on that data, and he had another line uh, recommended for interim registration based on that data. So certainly um, we saw this year that even though that whole co-op um, was not used, he was able to still move lines forward. Okay. Do you feel that uh, the customer's voice is, is heard in the, in the process at this point? Farmers, of course, want higher yields and, and disease, disease resistance. They have things that they're looking for. Customers' requirements might be different or, or might not line up. Do you, do you feel that customers what they want is, is, is part of this process? I think, I think customers' uh, needs are definitely part of the process, um, and that's the whole purpose of the quality evaluation team. Um, on the quality evaluation team, there's also members uh, from industry, so um, handlers. There's also um, millers from the Canadian industry, and there's even uh, some people from the baking side in Canada. 
um, who are also voicing their needs. Um, and Siggy and the Grain Commission um, are on the, the team as well. They're talking to customers all the time. So customer input is huge. Um, I mean, this is where the wheat is going to be sold. Um, we need to make sure we're, we're taking into account their needs. Um, so the, the 25 members on the quality evaluation team are bringing that forward. And um, then, then if uh, it goes to a final vote of the overall committee, those opinions are again brought forward. And uh, I think they carry a lot of weight in the end uh, for any final vote that takes place. Um, because in the end, even for a breeder, if a customer is not looking for the quality um, that's in that variety, um, then a farmer's not going to grow it because there's no market for it. I shouldn't say that farmers only want yield and disease. They want a product, of course, at the end of the day that is worth it. Yeah, and uh, I think, though, that, that the good news uh, this year, especially with these 28 varieties, is that you have um, this um, focused effort on improving quality, especially this gluten quality and CWRS, and you still had 28 varieties registered. So, you know, there's going to be a lot of new material going into the fields, or if they are registered, they'll be going into the fields. And so farmers will have this ability to choose new varieties. Um, there were some varieties um, that particularly for, um, there was a replacement for Lillian, um, a variety that has um, solid stem. Um, and th there's a new variety coming out with a better um, disease package that met the quality requirements. So for farmers, that gives them another option um, for that type of resistance and meets a better quality requirement. And there were, of course, just to end here, a couple of uh, high-yielding U.S. varieties that uh, that got approved under, under the interim. Interviews. Yep, they were recommended for interim registration, and uh, so that will allow um, the handlers that are working on currently working with an identity preserve um, registration to um, if it is approved um, they will have more flexibility and be able to grow more of those varieties now um, because they can put it into different markets under this new um, registration. Well thanks for your time.